Okay, so let's have this problem. So find the center and radius of the circle having an equation 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 10x minus 8y minus 6 equals 0. So first, we need to reduce this equation by omitting uh, this number on x squared and y squared. So this is an example of an equation of a circle because uh, the number on x squared and y squared are equal. So to do this, or to reduce this, you just have to divide the whole equation by 2. So divide every term by 2, then uh, reduce. So 2 divided by 2, that's 1, and 2 divided by 2, that's y squared. So 1, 10 divided by 2, that's 5, 8 divided by 2, that's 4, and negative 6 divided by 2, that's negative 3. So after reducing your equation, so you group according to variable, so you group all x and you group all y, and this uh, negative 3 transpose to the right, so that becomes positive 3. So using this equation, so you can now do completing the square. So in completing the square, you just have to pick this number, 5, and then divide that number by 2, and then take uh, the square. So we have 5 over 2 square, or that's 5 over 2 times 5 over 2, or that's 25 over 4. Then for y, so this 4, divide by 2, take the square. So 4 divided by 2, that's 2 square, or that's 2 times 2, which is equals to 4. Then uh, you are this number on our equation. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 4x, we have 25 over 4. Then for y, y squared plus 4y, then plus 4. Then uh, take note, the number you added on the left side should also be added to the right side. So plus 25 over 4 and plus 4. Now, uh, let's do uh, the factoring. Now in factoring, this is how to do. So it's very simple. So first, you factor out uh, x squared. So that's x times x. Then you factor out 25 over 4. So this 25 over 4, that's 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. And since our, our middle term is positive, so the sign positive. Then factors for y. So factors for y, so you have y squared is y times y. And for 4, that's 2 times 2. And since the middle term is also positive, then the sign is positive. Then on the right side, I reduce this one. So LCD, we have 4. So take note that 3 has an imaginary 1 denominator. So 4 divided by 1, that's 4 then times 3. That's 12. This one, that's 1 times 25. And also 4 has an imaginary denominator 1. So 4 divided by 4 times, uh, divided by 1 times 4, that's 16. Now, since we have 2x plus y over 2, so we can write this one as x plus 5 over 2 squared. And we also have y plus 2. 2y plus 2, so that's y plus 2 uh, to the power 2. Then uh, reduce this one or simplify. So we have 12 plus 25 plus 16, that's 53 over 4. Now, we need to rewrite this 53 over 4 uh, raised to the power 2. So now if you have problem on rewriting a number uh, uh, raised to the power 2, you just have to follow this process. So you take the square root of that number, then... Uh, raised to the power 2. So again, take the square root of that number, example this one. So take the square root of 53 over 4 then to the power 2. Then uh, simplify. So we have square root of 53 over 2 because square root of 4 is 2. So the square root of 53 over 2 to the power 2. And this is your radius. So this is our standard form. Okay. So from that standard form, using this standard equation of a circle as our guide. So from this uh, computed equation of a circle, so we can say that our h, uh, since this one is uh, positive, so our h is negative. And this one, y plus 2, since uh, positive, therefore our k is negative because negative times negative, that's positive, this one. Negative times negative, that's positive. And our radius, just take the base, the square root of 53 over 2. So the center now of our circle, so the h and k, so we have negative 5 
over 2 and negative 2. And the radius, the square root of 53 over 2. So this is the answer.